Look at what's fun, man. Oh my god. Let's come through the door. Alright. It's all slushy, slushy. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. This drone shot is a great example of what's called a low contrast day or a ping pong ball day. It feels as though you're on the inside of a ping pong ball. The sky is the same colour as the snow and there's no direct sunlight so no shadows are cast. It, you can't distinguish any features in the snow. So you could be walking into a hole or walking up a mound and you just don't know. People fall over all the time and it's quite funny to see from the window but when you're in the snow it's uh, quite hard to walk. So we got um, 60 mile an hour winds outside, about to walk over, so this is what it looks like outside, it's pretty extreme, so we've got 60 mile an hour wind for the next three days, uh, massive blow coming in, so a lot of precipitation, about two millimeters per hour, which means that uh, we are stuck in our little module, our sleeping pod, until it blows, which means if internet goes, there's going to be no one to go and repair it. And yeah, it's going to watch a lot of TV. I'm quite excited. The protocol that is put in place for a storm like this is that you can't walk to any building that you can't see. If you lose track of the buildings then you get disorientated very quickly and it turns into a dangerous situation. Also between the buildings a uh, rope has been set up so you can follow it like a handrail. Um, this is to ensure that you don't stray off the path. <laughs> The big blue modules are starting to be obscured so we're not allowed to walk over there anymore. So we're all going back to the living modules and I think the next few days we'll be spent playing board games, watching movies, just trying to pass the time until we're allowed to continue work. Power's gone out, I've got... We are going to die. One percent battery to complete a five minute render. shots. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I didn't know if it'd be safe to travel to the Drury in the morning, so I made some coffee and tea for the morning, just in case we couldn't get back. I need my caffeine, don't judge. Look at my 
my bag. <laughs> is it in there? Red one on his bag. <laughs> over twice and I was scared I couldn't get up these stairs because it was blowing so hard. When? You ready? Yeah man, let's do it. This cable got torn out by the wind in the middle of the night and it was just clanging constantly against the side of the container. None of us got to sleep last night and the container was shaking like we were on the sea. It was pretty awesome. I wasn't messing about before when I flew off the ladder, are you? I hit some slippy ground and just went sideways. I think that looked really cool. here is one of the two chefs at Halley and he makes some of the best bread I've ever tasted. I'm half Italian but his focaccia was the best I've ever had and right now he's teaching us how to make bread in this during this storm. Okay. Heavy blowing snow outside so I think I'm ready to face it. Turns out there's blowing snow inside. What are you doing? Pushing into a pot. That's what it looks like from here. There is sun outside.
these these mounds are the sort of things that you trip over in an, on a low contrast day. These things made me face plant so many times. This area is normally kept really groomed and flat by the vehicle operators, but you can see just what two days of blowing snow does. As the wind whips around the buildings, it speeds up and it pulls more snow with it. And then as it expands into the open space behind it, the power drops and a lot of snow is dumped. Also, you get a vortex behind each of the, one of these buildings that occur and you get an even higher dump of snow. You can see these little peaks that are occurring behind, um, behind these buildings.